Yo, what's going on? This is Keith Harris, host of the Keith Harris Show, Global Network, right here on Hot Line Radio. Got an awesome show for you today, as usual. Make sure every Monday to Friday, you tune in from 5 to 6 p.m., the hottest radio station all across the nation. Now, uh, we've been waiting to talk to this man all week long. It's a big deal, all right? We have Curtis Hudson, CEO and founder of the wonderfully designed and stylish clothing line called Gordizi by CLH. Now, like I say, we've been waiting to talk to this man. We know he's real busy. Got a lot of things to do and a lot of things coming up. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Uh, Curtis, how did you come up with the name Gordizi for your line? I mean, it's a hot name. I know it stands for God's Original Designs. Tell us how you came up with that in the first place. Three years ago, um, my um, my family, friends, and, and my mom, we were all sitting around, and my kids were like, yo, what do you want to do? And I'm like, you know, I'm working, you know, so I'm a salesman, I'm working, and I'm like, they're like, why don't you do G-O-D, you know, God's wisdom designs. And I'm like, nah, I don't know nobody that, you know, that toes and this yeah. and that, whatever, whatever. So I was doubting my own self, you know what I mean? Right, so, right. That's a good point. Uh, like you said, when you talk about God's original design and naming it after that and let people being accepted for their selves, uh, I think that's important. You know, I also uh, had a chance to check out a few of the pieces that you put together. And I think that they're stylish. They're simple. They seem comfortable, which says a whole lot. And it, it seems like, just like you say, anybody can fit into that. Anybody can put those clothes on and feel good about wearing uh wearing that line so yeah yeah and 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 like you say and, and being from the heart like that it seems like you created it from you know from from a general feeling on the inside so for you it wasn't just about hey you know what let me be into the world of fashion but it was something that meant something to you absolutely Keith. It's yeah. definitely personal man um mm -hmm. You know, we, we, in this society, we get judged for so many different things. We get judged because of our religion. Right. We get judged because of our, our color. You know what I mean? We get judged for where we live, how much money we make. You know what I mean? Everybody's in a different box. You know what I mean? Um, for your sexual preference. And you know what? That's what happened to me when I was young. Right. You know, I was judged all my life. You know what I mean? And that's why I made the choices that I made. Right. You know, um, and you know what? And that's all a lie, man. That's not what's happening. That's not what it's really all about. Uh -huh. You know, and, um, you know, with, with that being said, we also, we get 7% of every purchase that's made back to a foundation on our website. Okay. So, my vision is, five years from now, Keith, you and I be sitting somewhere chilling, you know, and, uh, you know, just hanging out. We'll see somebody in Gordizi, and the, and you won't hear people have conversation. It's not, where'd you get it? The first thing they're going to say is, who'd you help? Right. And what did, Yeah. You know what, I was, I was actually getting ready to ask you about that. As a matter of fact, I remember reading it, uh, some of the prophets 
uh, if not all, but the profits go to a wonderful cause, go to foundations. And uh, that's that's also amazing, too, is being able to give back as well. So people can feel like they did, you know, helped out society, not only just about a personal vision of looking good for their sales. Um, now, what, what's what's going on with the new line? Uh, or is there a new line coming out? I know you got the fashion show coming up in uh, in, in Delaware. Yes, sir. We're really excited, um, Keith. We're really, really, really excited, and we're, we're definitely blessed. What's going on is that um, 10, 12, 14, October 12th, 2014, uh -huh. we're having our very first um, launch, and we're um, introducing our summer and spring um, line um, at the World Cafe Live in Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. And um, we're going to have, um, um, we're showing, we're showing, we're showing our pieces. We're finally, uh, we have an awesome designer, Janika. She's doing her thing, and uh, we got the whole team. We're working together, and um, we're showing our line um, that night. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing, and it was also going to be a concert as well. So it's not just a fashion show. It's going to be, you know, the, you know, if you look at this, this Gordini launch experience, fashion, music, and purpose. And we are, we have a serious lineup. We have um, Sarah Kane. She's a soulful singer. We have Anaya Jazz, and we have Grateful Dreads, and then we have the one and only Algebra Blissette. Oh, wow. You know, she's a young big, Yeah, she's finally going to do the thing with uh, Anthony David, and she's got her own new single out, Nobody But You. You know, um, mm -hmm. she's amazing, so she's going to take us home, you know, with everybody else. We got DJ 007. You know, he does a lot of things with the Sixers and everybody, and, uh, uh -huh. you know, it's going to be, it's going to be an awesome, awesome experience. We got, we got my main man, uh -huh. We got my main man, uh, Mr. Jonathan Fields. He is the uh, founder of Ambiance Magazine. Oh, and, uh, okay. He, he, yeah, from out of L.A. And they do the red carpet, so it's going to be an official red carpet. Like, um, he, he does the red carpets for BET, uh, yeah. um, um, the Emmys, the Grammys, you know what I mean? So yeah, you know what? And not not to cut you off, man, but I, you know what? I saw that too, and I, I kept focusing on that red carpet. I go, you know, this is gonna be this is gonna be huge. You know what I mean? Because I don't hear, yeah, not not all the time. You know, usually you're hearing about a Grammys or some you know huge award show that got a red carpet. So it is it, it shows that you care about your vision and how people see your your line and the way you present it. And I think that's amazing, man. Yes, sir. Listen, anything that has God in it, it has to be top notch. You know what? You just said it, it right there, be, brother. It has, it has <laughs> to be top notch. Anything that has God in it, it has to be top notch. Because you know why? What? Each and every one of us have God in us. No matter who you choose your God to be, we all have God in us. So we all are top notch. That's my message. You need to know that. That's what it is. Like we, we ain't playing no games, man. We trying to listen. It's a bold statement. It's a very, very bold statement. I was told that when we first started. And guess what? It is what it is. That makes you know, I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but God's bold. You hear me? Hey, listen, God, God, God is first in my land. Him, him first. Without him, <laughs> look, without him, nothing, nothing is possible. Now, make no mistake about that. Uh, so anytime he can take somebody like myself, man, after twenty-five years of drinking and drugging, twenty-five years of drinking and drugging, homeless on the streets, yeah, picking up cigarette butts off the ground, to where I'm at today. Listen, let me explain something to you. Thirteen, thirteen for thirteen years. My whole entire life has changed. When I say God is amazing, listen, I got all my kids. You know what I mean? I'm number one at my job. Listen, check this out, Keith. I found my mom over 30 years ago. I haven't seen my mom in over 30 years. I found my mom. She lived with me now. Really? Right. She and you with me now. After so long. After so long. Okay. So, you know, I, this, this thing that I'm doing, man, it's, it's like I said, it's personal. Okay. It's real personal. And the team that I have, I am so blessed to have the team that I have. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, so blessed. Like, like you know, they 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 not only took the vision that God has given me, right. but they're taking it. They used to be, it used to be Keith. Okay, so what do I need to do? Now it's, okay, we need to do this. We wish you much continued success and say congratulations to you as well. Uh, looks like you got a wonderful team over there as we see everything that's going on. Listen, y'all out there in Radio Land, this is Keith Hearn Show, Global Network, right here on Hotline Radio. We sitting here chopping it up with the man, Curtis Hudson, the CEO and founder of Gordizi by CLH. That's Gordizi Clothing Line by CLH. So y'all don't go nowhere because we will be right back 
with more conversation with Curtis Hudson. Don't touch that dial. This is Keith Ferris Show, Global Network, Hotline Radio. Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody out there in Radio Land? It's your boy, Keith Harris, host of the Keith Harris Show, Global Network, right here on Hotline Radio, the hottest internet radio show all across the land. Make sure you tune in every Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. to catch the show. We talk about everything from fashion, entertainment industry. We got some health issues for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can call in and ask us. What's going on with your relationship? How come your man or your woman ain't acting right? We talk to you about that. Uh, just everything. Again, it's a global network right here. Make sure you check the website. All right, The website is hotlineradio.net. Again, that's hotlineradio.net. You can go in there and check out everything that Hotline Radio got going on. Also, you can download the app. All right? Download the app on iTunes or Google Play. And it's free. All right? That's always a good deal right there. You can't beat free. Download the app on iTunes or Google Play. Also, if you're a gamer and you got the PS3, and you got the Xbox, you can pick us up on that as well. Or Smart TV. So, Hotline Radio got the whole globe covered. You know what I'm saying? Hotline Radio is everywhere. Now, for these independent artists or people who just, you know, want to email Hotline Radio and see what's going on, you can go to, to you know, the email address for you is info at hmg247.com that's info at hmg247.com all right so get in contact send an email submit your music you know to try to get it played and all stuff like that also let's not forget the mix squad man gotta shout out the mix squad here hotline radio uh if you want the mix squad to come out you got an event coming up you got a party uh and you want some good music or you just want them to come out and show face and represent then Go on to the website and check them out. Send an email. Yo, what's going on, everybody out there in Radio Land? You listening to the Keith Harris Show, Global Network, right here on Hotline Radio? We've been sitting here chopping it up with my man Curtis Hudson, CEO and founder of the clothing line Gordizi by CLH. So we're gonna finish talking to him and find out more about what's been going on with him. So listen, um, Curtis. Where would you like to see yourself in in two years from now? Two to three years from now, where would you like to be? In two to three years from now, in two to three years from now, Keith, uh-huh. um, well, I can actually tell you probably in the next year, we're going to be in department stores. In two okay. to three years, we want to we want to be global. We want to be global in two to three years because Gordizi is global. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It's it's designed God, the way God has given this to, to, to us is that it's designed for everybody in the world. So the only way that this this can touch everybody in the world and help all the people at the same time and be able to have that conversation like who did you help type thing, right? It has to it has to be global, Keith. So in two years, I'm looking for it to be global um, and definitely in department stores um, and um, you know. Yeah. Okay. I'm not celebrities, you know, pitching in, you know, because it's all about, it's all good. Right, know? right. If there was, if there was anybody out there, and I know you, like you say, you want everybody to, uh, obviously, and we want everybody to, to, you know, be wearing Gordesi. Who now, if, 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 what, ce- what celebrity would you like to see wearing your clothes, if you could choose, or if you could design I for somebody? Choose. There's a lot of choices. I only get I, one. Oh man, I look, I know, right? <laughs> I know. That only get one. Really? That's amazing. You know what? Because you know, yeah. You know what? what? If I had to if I had to make one choice, it would be um President Barack Obama. Oh man, you know I what? Love, I would love to see I would love to see him in a in a uh in, in a Gordizi suit. Um mm-hmm. and you, you know what? Mean, uh, that was a big deal. That that was that was cool how you came how you came off with that right there. And you you just yeah. like you said a uh, a uh, uh, People have split the si- split a uh, split second to make decisions, man. And I did not expect you to say that one. And that, I like that answer though, because if I was it, I would I would say the same thing, man. If I if if I if I design, you know, if I was a designer, I would exactly say the same thing, man. It would be Barack Obama for me too. Yeah, the reason being is, is that it is it is because yes, he is an African American, you know, very first president, but right. but the real the main reason is is that everything that he's been through, and right. he's still standing tall. And the reason why he's standing tall is because he got God in his life. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's so many people that's 
pulling at this man and, 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 and pulling at the president and, and, you know, judging and listening at whatever it may be. And he has accomplished so much. Uh-huh. And so, so much. And so if God could, if God could, could, you know, say, hey, listen, just like you said, there's one gentleman out there or one person out there you would like to wear yourself, man. I couldn't have anybody else more anywhere as far as a person. I mean, there's so many million people that I would love to choose, but, but, but President Barack Obama would definitely be um, on the list, number one on the list. Yeah. Uh, be walking in a house doing his thing and, and agreeing to you. That would be amazing. Now, uh, you know, my next question, I just, I guess I kind of thought up, you know, it, it, it just kind of jumped in my mind. Now, not that this will make a difference, but I, I, I'm going to ask it anyway, because, and I, I doubt as well of a designer as you is, as you are, sorry, as well of a designer as you are, I doubt that, you know, that hinders. But is there, because people tend to complain about this in every other, um, almost every other field, is it any harder for, uh, for us African Americans to be designers than anybody else in the fashion industry? Well, you know what? I have not, I actually have not um, come through that yet, Keith. Right. Um, come to that. I've been embraced as an African American. Um, right. My clothing line with um, with all nationalities. I actually just talked to a gentleman from China yesterday. Um, he's talking about doing this thing global. Um, you know, um, mm-hmm. I've been embraced with nothing but love. Um, it. I. I truly believe it's the circle that you that you connect yourself with. Right. You know what I mean. I truly believe it's a circle that you connect yourself with, Keith. If by being an African American is being an African American, by being by being um, Caucasian is by being Caucasian, by being Hispanic is being Hispanic. You're going to always have those roadblocks, those people who just don't want to help you. Exactly. Because, but guess what? It is what it is. That's what it's always been. So what I do is, you know, if I, if that happened to me and I see that there's a roadblock, I just change I just change lanes. Right. Just get another lane. Right. You know what I mean? I'm just getting them out of the way, Keith. Man. That's, that's it because <laughs> it's in my heart, man. And nobody, there's nobody on this earth, mm-hmm. not one person on this earth, and everybody needs to hear this. Anything that you have to do that God implanted into you, there's not one thing on earth, one person on earth that can stop you from getting there. You know what? Not and, one person. And I, I'm, you know, and you're right. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you pointed that out to people and, and for everybody listening out there, that is also, you know, listen to, to, to what Curtis just said. It's important to realize that don't let anybody else or what's going on around you out there stop you from your dreams. And just like he said, uh, get in another lane if things are not working from you. And the other message also is that to not take the wrong impression that everybody that you work with. Or, or don't be afraid to deal with other people in other cultures thinking that we as African Americans are not accepted because we're smart, we're intelligent, we're good at what you do and it, at what we do. And there's a lot of people of all nationalities out there who realize that and will work along with you and embrace you just like Curtis just said. So I think that also gives another positive message instead of always people always talk about, oh, it's so hard and it's this and that. And that's not to take away from the struggle because it is there in certain cases, in certain scenarios, and depending on where you stand. But the positive message needs to be addressed also that there, there is a lot of love and, and embracing in the uh, industry and the fashion in a lot of different ways. So so we appreciate you know that, that good word. Now, what, uh, what advice would you have for, for aspiring designers? that are, are trying to get into the field? Just, you know, um, be true to yourself. Be true to your heart. Um, when you're doing something, if you if you want to be a fashion designer, be a fashion designer. You can't be a fashion designer and a web designer and a, a PR and um, selling, uh, you know, um, um, other stuff for other people and, and, and doing a whole bunch of other things at the same time because you're going to do all those things well. You know what I mean? But you can't do one thing great. Stick with your one thing. Do not move from that one thing. Keep your keep your passion, compassion. Pray, pray, pray. And thank God in advance. Every last person out here, what you need to do is you need to thank God in advance. And when I say that, I say every day, God, I thank you for this multi-billion dollar industry that you have given me. Right. Every day. Every day. So, you know, just stick with one thing. Don't try to do a whole lot of a whole lot of things, you know, um, and and because you know, you're not gonna be able to focus on the one thing that you need to do. Right. You know, that's just my advice because you can do one thing great, you can do a whole lot of other things good. And and that's what we have a tendency of doing. We have a tendency of, of spreading ourselves out. Oh uh-huh. uh, well I can do this and I can do that because let me let me just keep it keep it real here. The majority of everyone out here that's working, I'm pretty sure still have a job. 
Right. You know what I mean? Like, I work a full-time job, and I still do this, and I'm a single dad. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And, I, and, I'm, and I'm there for my mom. You know, so, you know, we still have a life. You still have a life, and it's, there's no need of having all that other stuff that you have on your everyday life, plus your business, plus everybody else's stuff. Right. So, you know, always just stay in your lane, just stay forward, focus, and thank God in advance for, 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 for what you're going to have. And do, and like you say, uh, you know, do one thing, you know, focus on one thing that can be done right and instead of five things and then be doing them all kind of only 50% and halfway. Make, makes a lot of sense. Now, uh, let, let where can everyone, I, I want to uh, uh, let everybody know this before we get out of here uh, today, Mr. Hudson. Where can everyone go to check out your uh, Gordese line? Like, I know I've, I've, I've seen it. And in quite a few different places that you got the website, the uh, Facebook page, and a lot. But where can they, they go to check you out? Well, you can go to www.gordizzi.com. That's G O R D as in David, D S I. Gordizzi.com. Okay. Or you can go to Facebook to my page, Curtis Hudson, Hudson's with a T. Or you can go to Instagram. Gordizi Instagram, Gordizi Twitter. You know, um, we have a mail chip. If you want, if you want to stay um, connected to all the stuff that we're doing, the fashion shows, where we're moving, where we're going to be seen, mm-hmm. where we're going, you know, pop ups and all that, right there. Go on to www.gordizi.com and put your email address in. And once you put your email address in, we'll send you, we'll send you um, up to date emails um, uh, on the regular to let you know what's going on. But the the thing that we would really love to see everybody come out and support us is our very first launch. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm going to be a keynote speaker. Uh, a little nervous, but you know what? It is what it is. I was told I was supposed to be. Right. And, um, you know, I get to tell my life. I get to tell what Gordese is all about and what it really means and what it stands for and, and um, you know, become one with, uh, with my audience. Right. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, listen, it was wonderful speaking to you. Curtis and listen you're welcome here on the Keith Harris show anytime you get ready uh, we're going to be following you definitely here and keeping up with your designs uh, you know make sure you you get in touch and we, we plug it as a matter of fact I hope I can make it to Delaware I, I'm gonna make a phone call and see if I can get up there I'd love to come to the event myself and uh you know sit down and watch the showcase it'd be wonderful man and uh, plenty of uh, all the blessings to you. All the blessings to you. And another thing I want to bring up too, price, price wise, the price. I, I checked the prices. The prices are affordable and great. Yes, sir. The prices are affordable and great. We're not to the point where I mean, it's for everybody. And not everybody has millions of dollars. You know right. what I mean? Right. So um, when we get to a certain launch, when we get to a certain position, you know, there will be things that will cost a little more. Um, but we're not there yet. You know what I mean? So everything will always stay price point where it needs to be, right. where it needs to be. And, um, so everybody can be, can afford it because guess what? Right. God's original designs are, are, are in, in, in the urban area. They're in the city, inner city. They're everywhere. You know what I mean? They're in the country. They're all over the place. So, you know, um, right. you know, it's for everybody. And, and Keith, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on, man. You're an awesome brother. Um, Thank you, God, man. I have nothing but many, many blessings for you, man. And um, I appreciate you know, that. You're, you're, you're an amazing, an amazing, amazing cat, and I, and I love what you're doing. And I just want to end, end this with one thing. Yes. Denzel Washington said, "When you go to bed at night and you take your shoes off, you take them, you put them way up underneath the bed. So when you wake up in the morning, you got to get on your knees to go get them." Wow. You know what? And that's deep. So you have to get on your knees before you can get to you those shoes. Get on you, your knees and, to go get them. You and, know what I'm saying? And while you're down there, do what you gotta do. That's right, and that's pray. That's pray. Take care of the rest, man. That's pray and give thanks. Give thanks to God, man, and the rest is that. All right, brother. We are uh, we, we love you to death and we're glad to have spoken to you today for you to have took time out. And we hope to hear from you soon. We will see you soon. We'll be keeping up. Yes, Everybody yes, out there. Sir. Make sure everybody out there, make sure you go check out Gordizi by CLH. All right. Go to uh, go to the website, says he said. Go check him out. You can go to his Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere and, and support him. And support the good causes that they support at the same time. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and when you buy God's original design, 
There's no way you can't feel good putting it on, and especially it looks good, because God's going to make sure you look good anyway. Period. <laughs> right, so that is what it is. That's, that's, that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so, and I like that, man. Somebody come up and say, yo, what, man, that's, that's hot. I like what you rocking. What you got on? God's original design. I mean, come on. Who, who, who? I got me on. Right. I mean, I got me on. Right. I'm wearing myself, right? I'm wearing me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, brother. It's good talking to you. And we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Curtis, you have a blessed day, man. And we'll see you soon. And I, I'm going to try to see you in Delaware, man. Well, i tell you what. If you show up, I'll make sure you get in. You don't have to worry about it. i give you press passes so you can hang out, you know, backstage. And you know what I mean? Hey, hey, come on through, man. I got you, baby. That, that's what's up. Good look. And we'll we'll do a good we'll do the visual interview there. We'll be we we'll do the face yes, to face. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, take care, brother. Much love to you, man. You you too, my brother. All right, bye bye.